Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. in 1974, uh, 1973 through 75, I had, I had taken, I had, had taken a sabbatical leave from my post at San, San Diego State University mm -hmm. and uh, was uh, uh, hopping the pond between London and Paris. I had visiting <laughs> professorships at the University of London, Birkbeck College, and the University of Paris uh, in Orsayville, which is a, a slightly south of Paris. And so um, while I was in my Paris flat, uh, I got a book from my friend Bob Tobin, uh, who said, uh, why don't you look, look at this book? It was called The Cipher of Genesis, and it was all about a Kabbalistic interpretation of the Bible mm -hmm. and I thought my god what I'm a physicist what should I be looking at this for yeah. so I read it and looked through it and it looked kind of interesting particularly mm -hmm. because the Hebrew letters as Suarez Carlos Suarez was the author of the cipher of Genesis as he presented these uh, these these the Hebrew letters each letter was a conceptual foundation it was actually a word so for uh, so for example we use letters in our ordinary language a b c uh, but a is itself not a word it's just simply a sound mm -hmm. but the first letter of the Aleph Beit, which we get al alphabet from, yes. is Hebrew Aleph. Alphabet Hebrew, is uh, Hebrew Aleph alphabet Beit. is yeah. Aleph. And Aleph itself is not just a letter. It's not just A. Ah. In fact, it's actually a silent letter. But it's a letter spelled out with other letters. Yeah. And each letter is spelled out and so forth. So the fact that this became intricate and complex intrigued me. Mm -hmm. So I decided I'm going to look up Carlos Suarez, who my friend Bob Tobin had said, by the way, he's living in Paris. Yeah. So I looked him up, went to visit him, and after a kind of a stormy initial meeting, he asked uh, he he, he asked me, did I get anything out of reading the book? And I said, well, I'm a quantum physicist. He says, he's not interested in quantum physics at all. Uh, did he, he wanted to know what I saw. And I said, well, I was interested in Satan. Mm. <laughs> he kind of smiled a little bit. And he said, well, what did you see? And so I said, well, the way Satan is spelled with the Hebrew letters, they, I, when I spell these letters out, I can see pictures. And as soon as I said that, he got very, very interested, and he said, look, I've had rabbis galore coming here to see me. By the way, he spoke fluent English. He was French, but he spoke fluent English. And he said, they don't understand a thing about what I'm saying here. You do, I want you to come back, and if you have other people interested in this kind of thing, have them come too. So, I left. Carlos Suarez's apartment, uh, very near the Eiffel Tower, um, and went back to my apartment, which was in uh, near the Cathedral Notre Dame. And uh, interesting, I just mentioned these uh, sightseeing mm -hmm. spots. And um, I called uh, Bob, and Bob immediately got on a plane and hopped a, hopped over to Paris. My friend Jack Sarfati also hopped over from Terrest, and some other people. Jill Purse for one and some other people from London also came and before long we had a gathering and we all began to sit at the foot, the feet of Carlos Suarez and listen to what he had to say about Kabbalah.